Now, Shivai students, this is the seventh video of the chapter Acid, Bases and Salt. In this video, we will be discussing the question answers which are given at the back of the exercise. These questions I am discussing with you, you have to write this in your copy. Whenever you are writing this question answer, start from a new page. Write on the top date, exercise and start from a new page. Write one question followed by one answer. And always write in neat handwriting. So question 1. State the difference between acid and bases. Okay. This is being discussed in the videos, in the previous videos. What are the difference between acid and bases? So you have to write the difference between acid and bases. Minimum uh, 5 to 6 points you have to write. Difference always you should write in column format. Okay, so make two columns and write acid and bases. So, uh, first point can be acid as sour in taste, bases are bitter in taste, uh, acids are non soapy to touch, bases are soapy to touch. Then, acid turns red, uh, blue litmus red, bases turns red litmus blue, acid uh, phenolphthalein reacts with acid and remains colorless, and phenolphthalein reacts with base and uh, turn, uh, turns into a light pink color next you can write when uh, turmeric is added to acid the color remains the same when turmeric is added to base color turns reddish brown so like this you have to write the difference minimum five to six difference you must write between the acid and bases next question number two Ammonia is found in many household pro products such as window cleaners. It turns red litmus blue. So, what is, what is the nature of ammonia? So, who turns red litmus blue? The basis that turns red litmus blue. So, what is the nature? The nature is basic. B-A-S-I-C. Okay, it is a base and the nature is basic. Next, question 3. Name the source from which litmus solution is obtained. What is the use of the solution? So, what is the source from where we get litmus? We get litmus from lichen. What is the use of the solution? Litmus is what? Litmus is an indicator. It helps us to identify the acid and the base. So, if red litmus solution, if it turns blue, then it is a base. If blue litmus solution turns red, then that is an acid. Next, question 4. Is distilled water acidic, basic or neutral? How will you verify it? So, distilled water is what? Distilled water is neutral in nature. Okay, okay. how will you verify? So, we will uh, dip red litmus in distilled water. First, it will remain red. If you dip blue litmus in distilled water, it will remain blue. So, neither blue or red litmus paper will change the color in distilled water. So, it is neutral in nature. Next question, describe the process of neutralization with the help of an example. That is given very clearly in video 5 and uh, video 6. What is the process of neutralization and example is given. Always write the equation also. Give one example and write the equation. Next question 6. Question 6 is true false. Okay. This you will do in the book itself. Nitric number 1. Nitric acid turns red litmus blue. It is false because acid turns blue litmus red. Next question 2. Sodium hydroxide turns blue litmus red. It is also false. Next question 3. Sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid neutralize each other and form salt and water. That is true because sodium hydroxide is a base and hydrochloric acid is an acid. Acid and base reacts to form salt and water. Next question 5. Number 5 is uh, indicated is a substance which shows different colors in acidic and basic solution. So this is true. Next is tooth decay is caused by the presence of a base which is false. It is caused due to the presence of excessive acid. Next, question number 7. Question number 7 is what? Dorji has few bottles of soft drinks in his restaurant. But however, these are not labeled. He wants to serve the drink uh, 
uh, to the customers to according to the needs of the customers one customer wants acidic drink another wants want uh, basic drink another wants neutral drink how will doji decide which drink is to be served to whom so how will he decide he will decide with the help of indicators right so he will take the soft drinks he will first take a little bit of soft drink and add it a little a drop of it to red litmus paper if it turns blue then the drink will be basic okay and he will serve it to the customer who wants the basic drink now he will take another bottle and from there he will take a drop of it and dip it in uh, and give it in uh, the blue litmus paper if it turns red then the it will be acidic and the drink which will turn which will neither turn blue or red litmus paper uh, it will not change the color that will be the neutral drink so accordingly he will be serving it to the people or the customers so again i am repeating he will be taking the cold drinks bottle okay he will be taking a drop of cold drinks okay and from there he will be taking uh, he will be uh, putting it into the red and the blue litmus paper so the drink which will turn the red litmus paper blue will be the basic drink the drink which will turn blue litmus paper red will be the acidic drink and the drink which will turn neither the red litmus paper it will not change the color of red litmus paper or the blue litmus paper that will be the neutral drink okay so accordingly dorji can decide which drink is to be served to whom and litmus here is the best one to indicate the next question explain why antacid tablet is taken when you suffer from acidity okay so this is also explained in the, very nicely in the video 6 uh, the app, in the application of neutralization reaction so you can write next is uh, calamine lotion is applied on the skin when an and by its factory waste is neutralized before disposing it into water bodies so all these things are discussed in the video 6 uh where uh, the application of neutralization reaction so you will write accordingly next question number 9 three liquids are given to you one is hydrochloric acid another is sodium hydroxide and a third is sugar solution so you don't know which is what okay one is hydrochloric acid another is sodium hydroxide and another is sugar solution so how you are going to identify them you have got only turmeric indicator so how you are going to identify them first you are going to take one liquid okay and from there you are going to drop i'll take a little drop of it a uh, bit of it and drop it in a turmeric paper if it turns into reddish brown then that means what it is a basic solution so that is what that is sodium hydroxide and if it remains colorless that means either it is hydrochloric acid or sugar solution because neutral substance also doesn't change the color so it can be either hydrochloric acid or it can be sugar solution any one of them so how you are going to identify Uh, that which one is hydrochloric acid and which one is sugar solution you are going to identify by the process of neutralization reaction okay so first is what you will do you will take a turmeric paper okay you will take a paper and you will dip it into turmeric solution so it will turn to turmeric paper so then you are going to put one drop of uh, uh, a liquid into the turmeric paper into three turmeric paper you take three turmeric paper one one drop of each liquid so one turmeric paper will turn to reddish brown so that means that will be base the rest two will be can be either acid or neutral solution i don't know now you know then what we will do you will take one uh, liquid 
from another bottle we will take one liquid and you will dip it into the another into the turmeric paper which is reddish brown if it becomes colorless then that is acid we have learned this in the process of neutralization reaction and if it doesn't become colorless then that means it is a base the next question is question number 10 blue litmus paper is dipped in a solution it remains blue so what will be the nature of the solution the nature of the solution can be basic only because blue lit no, sorry uh, yeah basic only because blue litmus paper is not changing the color so it, it is remaining blue so it can be basic or it can be neutral also because neutral solution will also not change the color okay so the answer it will be both it can be the nature of the solution can be basic or neutral because both of them do not change the color next is question 11 question 11 is a mcq question which you can do in the book itself uh, number 1 is uh, consider the following statement both acid and bases change color of all indicator false next is uh, if an indicator gives a color change with an acid it doesn't give a change with a base so that is also false if an indicator changes color with a base it doesn't change color with an acid so this is also false okay next is change of color in an acid and the base depends on the type of indicator so this is true so the question is which of the statement are correct so that will be number 4 only d clear so i think uh, i have discussed all the question answers with you here the mcq and the true false you will be write, uh, you will be doing in the book itself rest you have to write in the copy if you have any other problem uh, later you can ask in the group thank you namaskar